everyone. For this review, we have the Transformers 1 Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax, and this is the main line version. So this is not Studio Series, this is not Generations, this is, I guess, what they targeted towards, like, kids. Um, this... Optimus is pretty small. We'll get them out of the box in a moment, but just to uh, give a comparison up front, um, he's he's a real little dude. He's not a core class. He's not a basic or deluxe. He's like something in between, but he does seem to be pretty well sculpted. Um, I saw this at Target, and um, I didn't know if I was going to um, try to grab one of these, but it does look pretty striking, so um, here we go. So we got a picture of him in vehicle mode. Um, there's a lot of movie graphics throughout the box. And on the back, this looks very much like um, Studio Series Generations type um, artwork or photography. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how hard or easy these are to find. Um, I've only seen one of these so far, so um, hopefully they'll be showing up soon. Um, maybe they're just coming out, um, you know, very sporadically until the movie hits. So that's the outside of the box. He will come with an instruction booklet and a little legal piece of paper like all the Hasbro stuff does these days. Once you get him out, um, he's he's leggy, <laughs> like a traditional like G1 Transformer, because when you look at him in the box, it looks like he's this little guy. But you get him out and he's he, he does take up a good bit of the box. Um, he's still small compared to what a deluxe would be. Um, but he's got his sword and there's nothing else in there. So get those two things out and toss the packaging and you're good to go. So that's the packaging. Uh, let's get him all the way out and we'll take a look at the figure. All right. So here he is out of the package. And just to kind of go back to this, uh, normally I would save this for later, but I just want to illustrate like the size of this guy. He he is small. Um, even with that said, he has some really decent articulation. Head is on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a ball joint. Uh, transformation hinge allows him to get his arms up pretty well. This elbow is on a swivel. So he's got some decent, um, you know, some fake bicep rotation. The hands don't do anything. Uh, they do go inward because of transformation. Um, for transformation, there is some movement in the waist area, um, ball jointed hips, decent 90 degree knee bend. The feet are fixed. So that's kind of like the only place that's kind of not like noteworthy. Um, but, you know, looking at this guy, he, he looks really nice. Um, there's a good bit of paint on him. Um, considering this is like a $10 figure, the little smokestack spin, you know, there's some paint there. Uh, he's got gray and yellow down in here. There's even this, this line that goes across as a different color. I don't know if it's red or gray, but that's painted. Uh, the shins are silver. Uh, not the shins, the thighs are sh silver. The shins are silver also. There's some uh, silver on the front. The feet are sculpted at a slight angle. So just kind of be aware of that. And the back looks pretty clean, pretty decent. So this is a nice figure. I I kind of I think this would be more interesting if this was really Orion, like if he had the you know the mouth instead of the faceplate. But um, at any rate, it's it's pretty cool. 
So um, one more comparison. Here is the mainline um, Rise of the Beast Optimus. They did go with a much smaller Optimus, and I guess he's kind of, you know, kind of like a civilian, maybe, in this form. So I think making him small has some good story points to it. Um, so there's that. And then last, he does come with one weapon. He's got an Energon sword. Um, he's got fingers sculpted into it, so it looks like he kind of wields it from inside his palm. And I'm sure this is a movie thing, um, something about this where he's going to, like, eject this from his palm or something. Um, so it's it's cool enough. Um, I like Optimus with the traditional blaster, but this is cool. Um, plus, this is the wrong color. But he is, you know, more so Orion Pax at this point. So that is the figure. Um, let's get him into vehicle mode and take a look at that. And then a couple more things. Um, the smokestacks do come off. If you wanted to turn them into guns, you could. Um, but they do come off. And um, I've been messing with him for a little bit. And um, during transformation, I didn't even notice this. But, you know, you lift his chest up. And then the grill of the, you know, cyber truck comes out. And inside of it is a matrix, a little itty bitty tiny matrix. And it does come out and he can hold it. Um, and let's see. Probably a good reason why they engineered his hands to look like this. He can hold it. So there's apparently some kind of hot hot rod, Rodimus Prime type style moment where he gets the Matrix, because all the toys have this ability to hold the Matrix in some way. Um so yeah, that that is just super, super, super cool. And then to get it back in, you just have to unfurl his bumper. Um, it's not the most elegant thing, but I mean, it's just kind of cool that there's this little tiny matrix in here. Just folds back up into his chest like that. So, very cool. Okay, so here he is in vehicle mode, and he is a little bitty dude. Um, just to give some perspective, there he is with a Voyager, and yeah, he's small. Um, the transformation is surprisingly interesting, and I would even go as far to say as, you know, this... To me, this thing is like got a level of like uh, like those third party legends figures. Like uh, you know, if it was a, maybe a little bit smaller, it'd be in that league of complexity. Um, the only thing that really I think stands out is that uh, you know there's no foot um, heel articulation, um, no you know covers for the hands, but uh, the, the way they designed the transformation, it kind of goes in pretty seamlessly and has an interesting look with the way this works. The smokestacks, you know, can kind of be these little guns. You can point them up. You know, you kind of do a lot of stuff with this. And let's see if... Yeah, so... You can store his axe by placing it like this. Maybe they want you to do this. Yeah. And then you can store it this way, and it doesn't really take away from the figure too much. But there, there are these little tabs that kind of hold everything together between the arms and the back of the... Uh, back and the bottom of the feet. It's uh, it's really, really interesting. This is 
this is a nice little figure. Um, I would say if you hadn't been planning on getting this, maybe you should think about it and get it anyway. Um, this is a really cool little figure, um, especially something you can mess with on your desk. And the sculpting is nice. It's got a decent level of paint apps and it's Optimus Prime. You can have your little little itty bitty Optimus Prime um, to have to go with the new movie. So that is the review. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, tune into more videos coming up. Thank you.